Being a submariner in the Second World War wasn't an easy job. It was dark, cramped, and death could be at any moment, even at the hands of your own torpedoes. Torpedoes were the main weapon of World War II submarines, but they were also plagued with a number of problems, like premature detonation and depth gauge issues. Another issue these torpedoes had was the very minor, slight tendency to circle back on the firing submarine and sink it. No, no big deal. After the First World War, engineers designed torpedoes to be able to correct their course towards a target. This was done using a mechanically set gyro angle, which was set before the torpedo was launched while still in the submarine. After the torpedo was fired, it would travel straight for a given distance until the gyro steering mechanism would begin helping correct the course to turn the warhead. After it turned the given angle, the torpedo would straighten back out and hopefully hit its target. But here's the thing. Some of the torpedo's gyro mechanisms failed during that turning process, and the torpedoes themselves would never stop turning. This would cause the torpedo to run in circles, which obviously would cause some precarious situations for the attacking submarine. There are 30 documented cases of this happening during the war. Luckily, only two were fatal. One of those fatal circular run mishaps was that of the USS Tula B on July 29, 1944. The submarine was on her fourth war patrol in the Palau Islands when she registered an enemy convoy on her radar. The crew fired two torpedoes and two minutes later was rocked by a violent explosion. There was a lone survivor of the 60-man crew, gunner's mate C.W. Koikdendal, who was thrown from the bridge into the water and later picked up as a prisoner of war by a Japanese destroyer. He luckily survived the war and was released on VJ Day. Other than the USS Tula B, there was another, perhaps more notable sinking. It was that of the USS Tang. The Tang was the most successful of all American submarines deployed during the war, sinking 33 vessels in her short time. On her fifth war patrol, just one year after she was launched, the USS Tang encountered a very large enemy convoy. It was the night of October 23, 1944 and the Tang began firing torpedoes at the ship convoy it encountered, slowly amassing enemy casualties. Every ship in that convoy encountered that night was burning or sunk after the Tang attacked. Surviving that attack, on the next night of October 24th, the Tang encountered another Japanese convoy carrying planes. The USS Tang unleashed a number of torpedoes at the transports and started making its getaway as two escort ships began chasing her. She was able to sink all of the vessels in the convoy, other than one transport that was dead in the water. The crew of the Tang maneuvered the ship to finish the job, having only two of her 24 total torpedoes left to fire. The crew fired both of its remaining torpedoes, the first running dead straight, but the last curving sharply to the left, circling around until it hit the Tang on the stern. The explosion rocked the vessel, and its aft end bottomed out on the seafloor at 180 feet of depth. The crew that had survived the explosion crowded into the torpedo room at the front hoping to get out of the forward escape hatch. The patrol boat they were chasing started to drop depth charges which only worsened the damage to the ship. Thirteen men were able to escape out of the forward hatch, and four others escaped from the bridge. Of the thirteen that got out of the forward hatch, Eight reached the surface, and only five were eventually rescued, but those four that escaped from the bridge also survived. In total, 78 men lost their lives in the accident, and nine survived. In the final fateful patrol of the USS Tang, 24 torpedoes were fired. 22 found their mark on enemy ships. 13 of those ships were sunk. One of the 24 torpedoes missed, and the final sink the Tang. And that's the story of two unfortunate submarine accidents during World War II that ended up sinking themselves thanks to malfunctioning torpedoes.